In this video, we're going to fill a 2D array with random values in C. So the first thing we're going to do is include the stdlib.h library, because this library includes the rand function that actually generates a random value. We'll also include time.h, because this library includes the time function that's going to be helpful when seeding the random number generator. And that's the first thing we'll do. We'll call the function srand, and we'll pass it as an argument the return value of time when it's called with the argument null. So the srand function is going to seed the random number generator with the value here. And it's important that we seed the random number generator with a different value each time our program runs to ensure that the random numbers are going to be different each time our program runs. Now the function time here from the time library, when it's past the argument null, it's going to return the current time. The current time is by nature going to be different each time our program runs. And so we're going to be providing a different seed value each time our program runs. So that's the first step. The next thing we'll do is declare a 2D array and initialize it with the random numbers. So we'll actually define constants for the number of rows and columns in our 2D array. So here I'll say number define rows three and number define calls four. And then here I'll declare the 2D array using these constants. So I'll say int a rows and calls. And this will give us a 2D array called A of int values that is three by four in dimension. Now we're going to create a function to actually fill the 2D array with the random values. Just that way I could use the function again and again if need be. So here I'll say void fill random. The first argument is going to be the 2D array itself. So we'll say here int array rows calls is going to have those dimensions. And then we'll say int max. This second argument is going to be used to provide a little bit of customization with this function. We're going to have the function fill the 2D array with random values between one and max. So that way the user of the function can maybe manipulate max to change the range of values they get. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. Now the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to have a loop inside of another loop. And the outer loop is going to have a counter variable that goes over all of the row indexes of the 2D array. The inner loop is going to have a counter variable that goes over all the column indexes of our 2D array. And in that way, we can access each element in the 2D array. So here I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than rows, i plus plus. And that's going to be our outer loop. And then we'll have our inner loop. We'll say for int j is equal to zero, j is less than calls, j plus plus. And so with this inner loop, we're taking j from zero up until the amount of columns in our 2D array. And so j is going to be a counter variable that increments over all of the column indexes in our 2D array. Now our outer loop is going to do the same thing with counter variable i, but it's going to do it for all the row indexes in our 2D array. So we're basically incrementing over all of the columns for all of the rows with these indexes. So here I'll say array i j is equal to, and I know that whatever I put here is going to be assigned to every element of the 2D array because i and j are going to cover all the possible indexes of our 2D array. And what I'll put here is at first just rand. So I'll just say just rand here. So rand is a function that's going to return a random number, a random integer between zero and some very, very, very high integer value. What we want is a random number between one and max. We're going to take this number that's returned by this function and we're going to manipulate it to make sure it's in the range of one to max. What we'll do is modulus max. So the modulus operator returns the remainder of rand divided by max. So if you think about the way division works, let's say we want to divide by five. If we're dividing some number by five, the only possible remainders are zero, one, two, three, and four. You can't have a remainder of five or six or seven or beyond. 
if we're dividing by five. So if we take any potentially large integer here and we do divide by max, we know the value here is gonna be in the range of zero to max minus one. So that's the range we're gonna get here. What we want though is the range one to max. So we're gonna add one to the result of this to shift over our range and make the range between one and max. So let's actually test this function out now. Here we'll call fill random and we'll pass it A and let's say maybe 10 is gonna be our max value here. And then we'll actually loop over our 2D array again and we'll print out the values just to ensure that we've actually initialized the 2D array to random numbers between one and 10. So here we'll say four int i is equal to zero, i is less than rows, i plus plus. And again, we'll have an inner loop. We'll say four int j is equal to zero, j is less than calls, j plus plus. And the exact same logic is being used here as was being used here. We're going over all of the columns of our 2D array for all the rows of our 2D array. And this time we're gonna print out the element. So here I'll say printf percent three D and I'll put a space there. And then I'll say A at I J. So this loop here is gonna print out all of the elements that occur in one row in our 2D array, one at a time. We're gonna print out each number into a three character width area. And that should be enough space because we know the numbers are gonna be between one and 10. And we'll put a space between them. Now, after we printed out each row of numbers, we're gonna print out a new line character. Just that way, the next row of numbers starts on a new line. And then we should get a nice 2D style printout of the 2D array. So we'll save this here and run it. And what we expect to get is a three by four 2D array printed out with random numbers between one and 10. And that's what we get. We get a three by four 2D array with random numbers that look to be between one and 10. And so this is how we can fill a 2D array with random values in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.